If you are ready to get strong with a fantastic at-home workout, this is the routine for you. Welcome to week four, day 11 of our Own It series. We've got a fantastic strength training routine ready for us. I am going to use a mini band for our warm up. You don't have to have it, but if you have one, bonus. Let's go ahead and jump right into this warm up. Put your feet on it through gonna place that band right above your knees and we are just gonna start with a squat position and then we're gonna go back and forth a few times. Ready? Let's kick off. Baby steps. So again, if you don't have the band, that's okay. Just go into a squat position and step side to side and we'll get those glutes nice and warm. All right, y'all, today is strength training. We've got 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, eight moves. Most of the moves you saw on day 10, so we're bringing them back for day 11. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be fast. Most of the workouts, as you've seen with this Own It program, are a cool 25 minutes. I love that length of time. To me, it feels effective still feeling really good after 25 minutes and you have enough energy for post-workout too. All right, go ahead and pause here for me. I want you to stay in a slight squatted position and you're just gonna give yourself about 10 kickbacks. Warm up those glutes because we're gonna kick off with those squats once we lift the weights. Give me a few more. Three, two, one, switch it to the other side and let's go. Again, if you don't have the band, no worries. Just go through the motion with me. Hope you're feeling fueled, rested, hydrated, all the things that we've been talking about every single workout that we've had together with optimizing our sleep, getting proper water intake and nourishing our body with protein, fat, fiber, all the good micronutrients. Rest here. All right, we are gonna go into a squat for 10. Squat, arms raised, and bring it back up. Count out 10 there for me. No rush here, push through those heels, engage your glutes. As you push through, core is nice and strong. Zipping up through the pelvic floor. All right, give me four more squats here. Two more, one, and rest. All right, stand with me here. We're gonna do 10 lateral lifts, just right here. Standing on, most of the weight's gonna go to that standing leg, of course. You can bring that foot down to regain your balance. Give me four more lifts here. Three, two, one, other side. It's amazing what just a little bit of band, little resistance can do. Heart rate is already starting to climb as the muscles are getting warm. Hip complex is gonna be ready to rock and roll with some great mobility. Three, two, one, and rest. Amazing, all right, go ahead, take that off. We're gonna finish up with just a couple of knee pulls and quad pulls. And then we're gonna jump right in. So like I said, that first move is gonna be our squat to curl. That's gonna be a good one. Give me a quad pull here. Remember it's 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, and we'll do each exercise two times through. All right, give me a little march in place as I show you our first move. Here's what we've got as a reminder. We've got a squat, stand up, put them on your shoulders, squat, and repeat, right? So squat with them down. When you come up, you'll do a squat again with them at your shoulders. Two rounds of those. Let's get a quick sip of water. We'll jump right in. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. I'm gonna bring up my weights a little bit. I remember last time when we did these, I used a little bit of a lighter weight. I'm gonna go a little heavier today. Time under tension is a tiny bit longer, but we're only doing two rounds. So 
So remember, do what works for you. Core is strong, especially as those weights go forward. Shoot those heels. Ooh. Those glutes were nice and warm. Thank goodness, right? Three, two, rest. 20 second recovery since we were under tension a little bit longer. All right. Just two rounds. So can you bump up the weights? Challenge yourself. Let's give it a go. Three, two, squat it with me. Get a little bit of a bicep curl in there. 30 seconds. Ooh, baby, we got this. We're owning it. Last 10. You got this, team. Three, two, rest it out. We've got a 30 second transition. We've got those lovely dumbbell rainbow presses. Remember? So we go off to the side come up and around. We'll do two rounds of those. Again, I'm gonna try to bump up my weight for this workout. Do what works for you today. Get ready. Three, two, one, and around. Nice, yeah, yeah, nice. A little rainbow. With that now. There we go. We're working. Should be feeling good. If remember, we're getting that proper hydration, rest and fuel. It's a whole puzzle. Nothing works in isolation. They all affect one another. Five, three, two, rest it on down. Whew. Okay, I'm definitely gonna rest that one down. We'll get going again for that second set. Next move after this will be a deadlift, but we'll have plenty of time to transition. Three, two, one, here we go. And again, between moves, if you wanna do a little march or a light jog in place, that is totally up to you. Remember, core is tight. Any exercise, I've said this before, any exercise can be a core exercise. When you engage properly, zipping up through that pelvic floor, breathing through. 10 seconds. You almost get a little bit of a crunch when you come down, too. Three, two, one. All right, let's get ready for the deadlift. If you need some water, Let's hydrate. We're already on move number three. Right, I'm gonna get the heavier ones back for me. Simple and regular stance here, right? So back is nice and flat, shoulder blades, inner part of the scapula is squeezed together. Let's go here, join me. 40 seconds, pick it up with care. Remember, we're strengthening in a controlled manner so we can be stronger out there for life. Picking up things, doing it in a good position so we protect ourselves. 20 seconds here. Back is flat. Remember, you don't leave your neck up here. Just bring it down here with your gaze. Up and squeeze. Three, two, and rest. Awesome work there, team. All right, we've got 15 seconds, and we'll go round number two. Whew, it's going by fast, I love it. How do we do on weights? Are you able to up this, up the weights from the other day? Where are you at? Two, one, let's rock. Breathe 
leaving out as you stand. Nice job, team. I love it. You got this. Twenty seconds. Last ten. You're owning this. Way to go. Three, two, rest it out. 30 second rest. I'm gonna transition to a little bit of a lighter set of weights. Next move is that plank with the row. Remember, there's a couple different ways you can do this. So you can be in a full plank position with your row, right? Or you can be on your knees. So do what works for you if you went a little bit lighter. Maybe you can go with a full plank. If you went heavier, maybe you're on your knees. Let's go here. Plank, throw it out. It's not a speed contest. Leaning out as you pull. Way to go. 20 seconds. Yes, you can. Final 10, you got it. Keep those hips as steady as possible. Three, two, and rest. All right, 15 second transition here. We'll do it one more time. Feeling good, give me a little flex, a little flex. A little confidence booster, yes you can. Let's go here, five, three, two, let's go. Let's just focus here. Twenty seconds. You can tell this is a tough one for me. I'm not talking too much. Fifteen. Let's go here. So we'll do both sets on one side. Then when we transition, we'll do the other side. Let's shoot those heels. Whew. That plank row, that got me good. <sighs> Bumping up the weights from the other day is definitely a challenge. That's good. 20 seconds here. Core is having to work extra hard here. Yes, it is. 15 seconds. To go. Three, two, rest it on down. Yes, we are. We'll do one more round on that same side. We'll go in 10 seconds. So proud of you. You are crushing this workout. Let's go in three, two, come on. Push through those heels. Nice job. Way to go. More than halfway here. Last 20. Way to go. Final 10. Three, two, rest it out. All right, we've got a 30 second quick transition here. 
We'll do the other side. We're more than halfway through this workout. All right, remember this is really more strength training based, so your heart rate might not be as high as other workouts, so you can't compare it to other workouts, all right? We are really focusing on tearing down those muscles so later through proper rest, hydration, and nourishment. Let's go here, two, one, we can build back stronger, all right? Let me get that in my suitcase position. There we go, there we go. Remember, each workout may have a slightly different goal. So remember, you can't base the effectiveness of your workouts on how sweaty you got or how sore were you the next day, right? Are you getting stronger? What changes are you seeing in your body composition? How are you measuring that? And it's also gotta be way, you gotta track your progress, rest, in more ways than just the scale. You can't just base your results off of the number you see on the scale. Take body measurements. Take body fat percentage measurements. How are your clothes fitting? It's so much more than just that weight on the scale, right? Let's go here, final round. You know, when you incorporate fitness and strength training into your life, are you sleeping better? Are you craving more whole foods nutrients in your diet? I bet you are. Are you reaching for water rather than maybe an alternative, right? There's so many more benefits than just that number on the scale. So make sure that you're expanding your view of what results are when you are doing a fitness program. How are you sleeping? How are you eating? How are your clothes fitting? Are you bumping up the weights too? One, are you physically getting stronger? There are absolutely ways to tell. There could be regular tasks in life that you're like, hey, this is way easier than it was a couple weeks ago. Oh, it's because I'm using my muscles. I'm working out. We've got push-ups. Now today we're altering them just a little bit. We're gonna go side to side. So you'll go on one side, meet your hands in the middle, go to the other side. Join me here, two, one. I'm gonna go on my knees. If you can do this, move on your toes, go for it. A little bit of a dynamic push-up from the other day, just to switch it up a little bit. Breathing out as you press away from the floor, core is on, nice and strong, so proud of you. Last 10 seconds. Final here, rest. Ooh, baby. Shakes it up just enough, right? I love it, I love those side to side. All right, one more round of these, and then we've got one more exercise with the weight. They're the dumbbell pullovers, okay? All right, final round of our push-ups, three, two, one, let's rock, push, here we go, here we go, you are cruising, yes you are, 20 seconds, you are rocking right here, yes you are. Final 10 seconds. We can do this. Whew, arms are jelly. Three, two, give me one more rep. There we go. Whew. Let's finish it out with our dumbbell pullover. All right, I'm gonna grab a 20, but you can also grab two lighter weights. The way that the dumbbell pullover works is you are in a line back position, knees are up, and you're simply going to let the dumbbell go over your head, slight bend in your elbows. Join me here. If you want, you can bring your knees up here and extend. If you are just holding one dumbbell with the edges of it, 
Just be really mindful of making sure it's in a steady position for safety purposes. Don't try to adjust your hand position when it's over your head. All right. Way to go. Almost there on this first round. Slight bend in those elbows. Remember, it's not a tricep extension. Rest here. Whew. That's a perfect combo after those push-ups, am I right? Now, if you're in a position where you can extend both legs out as your arms extend, that is totally fine. But make sure that you're in full control of your core and your low back stays to the ground. Let's go here. I like the one extension as I can still really just focus on the lat extension piece, but a little bit of core as well. Breathing out as you bring that knee in. Yes, you can. 20 seconds to go. So proud of you. We're getting stronger. Yes, it feels good to move these muscles. Count it as an opportunity to move rather than an obligation, right? It's an opportunity to move our bodies. One more rep here and bring it on down nice and slowly. Whew. I love it. I know my heart rate didn't get as high as some of our other workouts, but again, that's not what we were going for. We were really focusing on lifting heavier, going slower, being intentional with each and every move. <laughs> Welcome to your cool down. Way to go. Let's stretch out those shoulders. Let's go ahead and get into a kneeling position. Stretch out those hip flexors and quads. You did incredible. Again, I'm so happy and thankful that you're allowing me on this journey of yours. I know there's so many other videos and coaches you could choose from, so I do not take it lightly, but you have tuned in to this workout and hopefully you feel amazing. Remember, your body will tell you what it needs, so don't miss out on those cues, right? So listen to your energy, listen to what your body's telling you, when it comes to nutrition, I really like the concept of HEC, H-E-C, hunger, energy, cravings. How hungry are you throughout the day at the end of the day? Have you been eating enough throughout the day? And if you have, but you're still hungry, take, a, take an account for what's making up the foods that you're consuming. Are you getting enough? Let's go and stand to our feet. Stretch out those triceps. Are you getting enough protein? Are you getting enough fiber and colors in your nutrition? We wanna eat as many colors of the rainbows as they are, of course, coming from whole foods, nutrition, fruits, vegetables, those leafy greens. Oh, so, so important for many functions of the body. Other side, right? Pay attention to your energy. Are you crashing halfway through the day? Are you getting enough complex carbohydrates in your diet to fuel your day? Essential energy comes from consuming carbohydrates, ideally in that complex form, so they're broken down slowly and they have a lesser impact on insulin, right? Or on our blood sugar. All right, stretch to the side. Here we go. And then the last of that concept would be cravings. So are your cravings all over the place? Again, look back. Are you getting enough whole foods, nutrition, protein, fat, fiber, to regulate your blood sugar so you're not having crazy cravings. Now me personally, of course, I love chocolate. I like sweets, of course, but usually those cravings are minimized when I'm really paying attention to monitoring my blood sugar through having balanced meals throughout the day. All right, we'll leave it at that. I hope you gleaned something from that little post-workout talk. Whew, that was good. Give me one big deep breath here and rest it out. Amazing work, day 11, week four, with your Get Strong at Home workout. So proud of you. Remember, go tell a friend. Make sure you like this video. It helps out my channel. Also, make sure that you are subscribed. I so appreciate it. Have an amazing day. Go fuel that body, and I'll talk to you next time.